New Mexico is a poor state, as you know, with very few industries producing well-paying jobs. The national laboratories represent billions of dollars of economic impact. That includes businesses that rely on work with the labs. What if people face losing their livelihoods if disarmament brings an end to the nuclear industry here? It's my view, and I realize again, this is a very good question you ask, and I have a deep concern for many of our Catholic people and, and, and all my fellow citizens in New Mexico work in the, in the labs, and that's the source of livelihood. But I really firmly believe that this would not uh, endanger that because if we were really to to pursue this nuclear disarmament, it would require even more from our labs because that's going to take all kinds of technology to verify. We're not going to just accept the fact that a certain country says, oh, okay, we've gotten rid of them. Oh, isn't that, thank you very much. We'll send you a thank you note. No, we want to, as President Reagan said, trust but verify. That's a huge industry right there mm -hmm. to make sure that everybody has indeed disarmed and 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 to make sure that we have ways that nobody especially a, a rogue nation or terrorists could not come up with a, a nuclear uh, a bomb as you note in your pastoral letter and this is a quote in recent years pope francis has led the church in a dramatic shift away from supporting nuclear weapons and deterrence to denouncing them as immoral calling for their complete abolition and in 2017 pope francis publicly declared that nuclear deterrence is morally unacceptable I need to ask you, given the numerous revelations of widespread sexual abuse in the church, which also failed to address these abuses for years, how challenging is it to take a moral stance such as this letter does and ensure that people will receive it in the spirit mm -hmm. that you intend? Yes, that's, that's true, Megan. I acknowledge that. I think that the, the sexual abuse scandal has been a terrible, terrible uh blight in the Catholic Church, and it's not just the Catholic Church, of course, but it certainly mm -hmm. hit the Catholic Church very hard, and it's something that, uh, and I, I think it does very much weaken our moral voice, there's no doubt about it. I don't think, however, though, that that means that we should be silent. I think we still need to speak up and still hope that people will respond. I think that some will point to that. They'll say, well, I'm not going to listen to them. I mean, they couldn't get their house in order, you know, with the abuse scandal, so what, what do they know? That would be, of course, not a logical argument. That's not a reason to dispute, you know, what we're putting out in the letter. But I think some people will say that, and that's unfortunate, and I regret that. I do think that since 20, 2002, especially with our Dallas meeting of the bishops in Dallas, you know, that the Catholic, that's something to be looked at. What the church has done since then, in the last 20 years, uh, and to form a safe environment programs and to, we've spent millions of dollars with the John Jay College of, uh, of Law and the Criminal Law and to do a cause and effect studies and to look at, you know, what, how did this happen in the church? How did this abuse take place? So I think the church has done quite a bit. Again, there'll be many people that, you know, will say, oh, that was wonderful. We, we respect what you've done. Others will say, well, big deal. You know, they're not going to be too inclined to, to mm -hmm. pat us on the back. But I do think that we've done a lot. And, and frankly, if you look at the statistics and look at the, you know, the number of abuses taken place since these programs, it's been low. So I think, A, there's evidence that the church has worked hard to really do the best we can and to rectify those terrible, terrible sins. And secondly, I think that the, the document speaks for itself. The logic, you know, uh, of the importance of nuclear disarmament hopefully will speak for itself. But you do raise a good important. And I'm glad you raised it because it needs to be said.